Good afternoon, everyone. It's Friday, September 29th, 2023, and this is your weekly crypto review. Here are some highlights to bring you up to speed. During an appearance before the U.S. House Financial Services Committee on Wednesday, SEC Chair Gary Gensler says Bitcoin isn't a security. We truly wish Mr. Gensler would come to the proper conclusions regarding cryptocurrencies and soon. Coinbase went directly to D.C. to launch their new and very clever campaign called Stand With Crypto this week. They created branded nitro coffee and packaging that touts U.S. crypto stats and analytics. But the best part is they left them for our unelected SEC chair, Gary Gensler, to see and enjoy during congressional hearings this week. To learn more, please visit americalovescrypto.org, Terra Luna founder. Do Kwan asks court to deny extradition request. The defense team for the Terraform Labs founder has asked a court to dismiss the request since Quan is already in Montenegrin custody. Polygon announced Friday that Google Cloud is officially a validator for the proof-of-stake sidechain. Polygon is transitioning to a Validium-based system supported by zero-knowledge proofs. The same infrastructure used to power YouTube and Gmail is now helping to secure the fast, low-cost Ethereum for all Polygon protocol. And finally, uh, Ben Armstrong, a.k.a. BitBoy, has informed the world he is taking a one-week break from crypto to deal with personal and business issues. After the last week's Ben antics, we think it would be a good idea if he took a little extra time to sort out your issues, please. Thank you for tuning in. For more insights into the world of Web3 and how to navigate the rapidly changing crypto and blockchain landscape, visit mvmt.media and look for Web3 unpacked podcasts on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. The information provided in this broadcast represents the sole opinions of MVMT and should not be construed as financial advice. Any actions taken based on this information are at the sole discretion and risk of the individual, and MVMT disclaims any responsibility for the consequences thereof. It is strongly advised that individuals seek qualified professional financial advice before making any financial decisions.